Okay, hi there, HCG family. It's me, Miss HCG Girl, and um, I am coming back after a very long spiritual and personal hiatus. Um, I am coming back to do HCG, yes. Uh, I'm giving you an update on my channel. Uh, I cannot guarantee how much interaction I'm going to be able to do on this channel, and and also, since I've sort of taken a departure and a long break, um, I cannot believe the changes that YouTube and Google has made, and I'm a little confused. So <laughs> I'm going to try to upload this video, and hopefully you'll get an update on me and my journey with HCG, because I am now, today, loading for my eighth round on HCG, and uh, I'm coming to give you an update. Um, since last year, uh, a lot of things have happened in my life. Uh, I took a long break, like I said, a spiritual break. Um, basically, it was uh, searching and praying and fasting and um, fasting a lot of different things uh, in my life, including all the social networks I had been involved in and um, friends, local, online friends, uh, long far away friends, family, I just basically took a very, very long break. Um, I have found out a lot of, you know, I had a lot of personal struggles in my life also at the same time, which I really don't want to go into here on YouTube. And it led me down a lot of, um, I don't know what to call it other than I had picked up maybe some bad habits. Uh, last year, I don't know what it was. I, I don't want to blame anybody here in the HCG community. I blame myself, okay? Um, I have a tendency to be swayed by other people's uh, opinions or other people's uh, voices at times, and that is not a good thing all the time. It's not always good, and it's not always right what they're sharing with with me it might not it might be right for them but it may not be right for me and personally uh, I'm coming on here to share that I had basically left the accountability of weighing every day or weighing on a regular basis or measuring my body on a regular basis and um, I feel like that was the number one pitfall for me uh, slipping back into gaining quite a bit of weight. <laughs> As you can see uh, in my face and uh, my chest area, and uh, I'm not going to stand up right now, but the worst part of it for me is uh, my stomach area. But I went from probably, you know, uh, wearing size 4, 6 clothes to now um, somewhere between a 10 and a 12. And I'm not really happy at all. And uh, I was I was okay when I was like sixes and eights, but um, I don't want to be in a ten or a twelve. I don't like that much weight on my body. I feel uncomfortable. I feel it's just not me. So um, today I weighed. I had not weighed according to the Wii. I got on the Wii today. Now according to the Wii, who knows how accurate the Wii is? <laughs> but it literally said I had not weighed in 223 days. That is insane. So, um, it said that I weighed 169.8 pounds. And as some of people know here, uh, the lowest I had got was like, I think I got 138 point something or 139. And I pretty much had stayed in the 140s for a long time. For a long time. I have not seen 169 since, I look back in my records, since uh, May of 2011. That's right. So I had kept this off for two and a half years, you know, off of my body. And, um, you know, it's not just about the weight. It's about what's happening in here, inside of you, you know. And, uh, and where your happiness is and, you know, what's happening up there with your relationship with him. And for me, personally, I was on some kind of journey that I didn't know was going to take me where it took me. Um, 
I've had a lot of changes in my life uh, for good and there's some that aren't so great but I am just so grateful I, you know I came back to this community because of the number one reason is I believe when I prayed in 2009 at the end of that year for God to help me to find something a way to lose weight I didn't care what it was he led me to HCG I went to a doctor and I started with a doctor and I was very very successful and um, I felt so good on this protocol I felt like it had detoxed my body of a lot of crap and not only that uh, I feel like it um, I learned a lot of the things that I have problems with certain foods that I really have issues with and I don't know if it's because of you know I've heard every explanation that you could possibly have in this diet group whether it be your blood or better whether it be your genetics or whether it be allergies or whatever the whole point I'm trying to say to you is that I have learned a lot of things about myself and certain foods that I need to avoid and I need to stay away from and I've made so many positive changes in my life since 2010 going on this protocol that I'm not going to beat myself up because I gained this amount of weight okay um, my happy number if I had to pick a number and say that number the rest of my life was 147 but honestly I like the way I looked I like the way I felt at 147 and that's when I hit like size 6 and I just felt comfortable in my body but if I don't get to that the rest of my life I'm not gonna be upset but I'm I I'm gonna dwell on all the positive things that um, I've learned from this protocol I have also incorporated exercise in my life and I still walk on a regular basis sometimes with poles and most of the time without lately because my husband likes to go with me and I have like a little three and a half mile loop in our uh, neighborhood and I have really increased the pace and then I've increased the di I've, uh, increased my speed and I've increased the distance so I really enjoy doing that uh, I'm just sharing some of the things that I love on a daily basis that I do that's changed in my life since I started HCG. Um, the other thing is, is that I have, um, you know, I, the people who watch me on here know I have a Vitamixer, okay? And it's a very expensive blender, right? But this thing, I probably use it two and three times a day sometimes. Uh, there is not a day that goes by that I don't make either me or my family smoothies every day or I grind up like tomato sauces and stuff like that for my chilies in it and different soup ideas or nut butters or I'm going to tell you um, I'm not plugging Vitamixer here I'm plugging the fact that it has changed the way my family eats my daughter's bowels have healed I've noticed that I feel better about myself when I eat one of those every day um, it's just one way that I get fruit into my body and I love it and that's probably the number one thing that I'm going to miss while I'm on the uh, very low calorie this month um, anyway I'm just sharing you know what's happened with me um, also when whenever I get around the public or uh, friends of mine local friends or even people over the phone or the internet um, and I share anything about HCG or my journey or whatever these people look at me like I'm some alien from another planet they do not comprehend the language that we use in the HCG community and it's um, I almost feel like I'm a foreigner among them and it's like I almost feel like I can't share my journey with these people they see that I've lost a lot of weight and they compliment me and stuff like that but that's not the point I really can't be me because there's just not a way to share you know even when I tell them like what you do to lose the weight they look at me cross-eyed when I say that HCG literally Move, takes your hypothalamus and moves the fat around the abnormal fat in your body around and that's how you lose weight and <laughs> honestly you guys 
I just, I consider it one of the biggest blessings of God that I stumbled on this protocol. So I'm coming on here. You know, I'm a huge cheerleader of the HCG, and I have given a lot of my time to support others while I was doing the other seven rounds that I did. I just have, my family has suffered, and I need to spend a lot more time with my family and also towards my faith. And so I've been sort of focusing a lot of my time and my energy in those areas, and um, that's really what I've been doing. And so if, I, if you feel like I've avoided you or whatever, I am so sorry because that was not my intention. My intention is for me to um, refocus on what's priority, what priorities are right in my life, and it's God first and then my husband and my children. And, uh, and everybody else. And so, um, anyway, so, you know, I wanted to share that about that. And then, um, I think I told you it was like 223 days. I had weighed one other time. It was probably in November, uh, when I went to my doctor's appointment and I weighed somewhere around 160 with clothes on. So I've gained about almost 10 pounds over the holidays. And um, so I pretty much stayed in the like 150s this past year, even through this whole struggle that I went through in my life. Uh, my daughter, I have a 25 year old daughter, Heather, and she's getting married, hi honey. She's getting married um, in June, and I would like to be back down to a six or an eight comfortably by that time so that I can get me a nice dress and you know enjoy myself at the wedding and stuff like that um that's gonna motivate me uh, if anything should motivate me but to please god would motivate me the most right now because i'm disappointed in myself but I'm, I'm not beating myself to death like i said i want to give a big shout out to kathy uh not enough first and i'll put her name up here she is so sweet let me tell you she and some other people have contacted me this past year but she contacted me in december and she had sent me this really sweet card christmas card and um she had told me that she missed me and all of this and i texted her and i said um, hey where's everybody getting their hcg now and she led me to this company and i'm not kidding you i think it got to my house in like seven days the people that she recommended and um so, I just want to thank you, Kathy, and I heard your shout out on your vlog today. I only got to hear two vlogs today, and um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to listen to them on a regular basis, but I listened to yours. And also, there were some other people that had contacted me in the past year and was praying for me. Um, you know, uh, Donna, and um, I think it's something 2011. God, you guys, I haven't been here for a while now. Um, and then Kathy Lidler, me with HCG, contacted me. I had um, uh, just some other people. There's Elena girl. Elena, she's on my Facebook. She's contacted me. Gosh, I don't want to forget anybody. Um, Beth, HCG Charm, contacted me and some other people. I really appreciate the people that have prayed for me and have not forgotten about me and just cared, cared enough to reach out to me. I'm just sorry I couldn't do the same for you uh, during this time that I've been going through. And there are a couple of people that know the personal struggle I went through and I, I just appreciate the confidentiality and the love and the, um, and just the respect that you have for me, you know, during this time. Um, anyway so the last thing i want to share right i had this morning i went ahead and mixed my hcg i only had sterile water so i used the sterile water that i had and i went ahead and injected i could not get it to really show up strong on a pregnancy test i even had two pregnancy test kits that i did so um i injected myself anyway and I started feeling sort of nauseous around 30 minutes later so I know that's a good sign but I went online to read if, and this is just me hey I've done seven rounds and I didn't know this but I asked Google is bacteriostatic water the same as sterile water 
because I use sterile water. And uh, no, it's not. And bacteria static water has alcohol in it. It says sterile water is for a one-time use. So if anyone wants to tell me if I should like not use the rest of my, I filled up like nine or 10 injection needles for the rest and um, if that's gonna last in the refrigerator. But I did order some bacteria static water after I did all that. So it should be in tomorrow, the next day, and I can remix and uh, with bacteria static water. But if anybody wants to let me know if they've done it with sterile water and it lasted, let me know. Um, other than that, I haven't measured yet, but I can tell you, I don't like the way I feel like I can feel that fat has started to come on the sides here. Got serious fat going on here. My butt has gotten a lot bigger and there's fat on the back side of my butt. <laughs> and um, I just don't like being uncomfortable in my clothes. I have a whole closet full of sixes, eights, um, only a couple of tens. And my body just started going, the weight just, I think just since Christmas, really just started you know rapidly coming on me and um, I'm just hoping to get back down to the 150s and if I make it to the 140s that's great um, I'm just looking forward to getting back to my lifestyle that uh, you know where I eat healthy and I walk all the time and um, that's my goal so um, I miss you guys. There's a lot of you that I think of very often, and uh, I pray for a lot of you when you come to my mind. And so I hope you're praying for me and believing the best for me. Um, oh, for, almost forgot about this. Okay, see this stuff right here? I came up with a recipe, and uh, I eat this almost every day. Now, I won't be able to eat it on the protocol, <laughs> but... I made this, I came up with this recipe and I kept perfecting it last year. You see the pecans in it and the chocolate, okay? And then this one's plain chocolate. It's a mixture of coconut butter, okay, which I do in my Vitamixer. But let me tell you guys, okay? <laughs> this stuff, I call it, you know, Little or Me with HCG, Kathy? Well, Kathy, th this is because she's a peanut butter fanatic. I call this Kathy's Crack because you cannot stay away from this stuff, okay? <laughs> I have a girlfriend that comes over here and she goes, hey, I, we made some a while back and she took some home. And I mean, she just wants to eat the whole bowl. <laughs> and it's sugar-free and um, it's sort of like a chocolate delight, but it's even better. It's a thousand times better. And I make a peanut butter one too, but there is peanut butter in this one. And so that's why I call it Kathy's Crack. So Kathy, if you're watching, I love you, girl. And uh, I'll probably vlog this recipe maybe when I'm in phase three or something like that. I may have to do two rounds. I bought enough HCG for that. So we'll see if I do two rounds. And um, that's about it. I'm gonna try to vlog once a week during this so that you guys can see my journey and see how I'm doing. Right now I'm loading. I have definitely overate breakfast. I overate at lunch and I'm going to overeat at dinner. In the morning, I'm going to overeat again. I'm going to overeat at lunch and I'm going to overeat at dinner. And then I'm going to start the very low calorie on Thursday. Right now, today where I live in Tennessee, it is 20 degrees outside and it's only 3.30 in the afternoon. So it's been a very cold two days here. You can't really do too much. Oh, oh, oh. I got one of those Keurigs. My daughter Virginia gave us a Keurig for Christmas. And let me tell you, I drink a lot of coffee, tea, and one of my favorite tea, one of my favorite teas right now, hot teas is um you can buy celestial seasonings it's called uh i think it's harvest pumpkin spice or something oh my god that is by far and you get the sugar-free coffee mate um pumpkin spice coffee creamer it's sugar-free it is crack you guys <laughs> i drink it every day it's so good and so you know that's another thing i have found things that i like to replace all the things that I did four years ago 
where I was so into sweet drinks all the time and white sugar. I was telling my husband that the container of white sugar over there, I used one time, one cup the whole last year. That's crazy because like in 2009, I can tell you, I was buying 10 pound bags every time we went to Sam's or Costco. I'm not doing that anymore. Our lives have changed for the better. We use Stevia and everything and I try to use the, uh, I have a favorite brand and everybody who watches me knows my brand, it's Stevita. But there are other brands, find things to replace what you what triggers you to go and overeat. And so for me right now, my big trigger last year was an emotional journey, emotional, spiritual journey that I went on. And I didn't focus on my weight. I was focusing on me inside. And so um, anyway, I'm just rambling on now. I have no idea how long I've talked. And um, I want to get this video up and if I've forgotten anything you guys can ask me in the comments or something like that and hopefully I can figure out Google and YouTube how they've blended together and I just want to appreciate everybody who has supported me uh, since 2010 on YouTube um, and and listen if you want to stay in touch with me and you want to talk to me face to face or whatever I will give you a way to do that if that's important to you um, anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. I love all of you and, uh, you're in my heart. So peace, Miss HCG girl style. <laughs> and the only p true peace that there is to me, this is me. If, if you know me, you know, I, I'm a person of faith is knowing him, the Prince of peace. So, uh, but I'm going to say peace out.